Amid high inflation, currency interventions and deteriorating fiscal accounts, investors are becoming increasingly unsure about the Brazilian economy and its administration. With me down the line to discuss is Philippe Garcia. Philippe, Brazil's quasi-state oil company Petrobras took a hammering yesterday and analysts say it may take Brazil with it. Economists surveyed by the central bank cut their forecast for economic growth in 2014 for the third consecutive week. But is the economic situation in Brazil really as bad as the hype? Well, um, about Petrobras, uh, beginning with Petrobras, I think there is a perfect storm that might be forming here. Everything is wrong for the company. Uh, oil prices are really coming off very hard, and all the corruption, suspicions about the company at least give us the idea of a very poor corporate governance. And this is not good for the company, and it's not good for the, the country. So I would say that uh, if uh, the things were not already good, in the economic terms, in, in the fiscal side, now this um, political row and uh, all the, the bad press that Brazil will get in the, in the next months will be bad for, for the economy. So, um, okay, there's a hype in Brazil about a, a, a bad economic situation. It is really not good, but above all, I think it can be characterized as disappointing because Brazil was... Um, picture as a, a rising star in terms of investment, in terms of um, economy, and what we see is a poor, poor performance in terms of growth, a poor fiscal performance, and uh, at this point there is nobody really wanting to invest in Brazil. As you mentioned, the lack of confidence in Rousseff's leadership also seems to be weighing heavy. Do you believe the president will be able to stave off a credit downgrade? And how important is this for investors? Oh, well, the, the matter of a credit downgrade is a, a long talk. Uh, everyone is talking about it for a most, more than a year now. Uh, the new Minister of Finance, which is Joaquin Levy, and Nelson Barbosa, which is the new planning minister, uh, well, they are seen as reformists, and they themselves claim to have the goal of containing or even lower the public spending. So that part was a good news. But uh, the truth is that the, the Brazil primary budget surplus has been disappointing for some time now, for some months now. Uh, I really fear a downgrade uh, probably in, in, in the next year, and it will, op it will happen if no progress is shown uh, in the first uh, quarter of the next year in terms of fiscal balance. So I think the most likely scenario uh, is really a credit downgrade. I think it is important to all these um, funds or managers that really have to invest in investment grade uh, bonds because we can go below investment uh, investment grade uh, in Brazil. So it's another thing that is not looking bright for the short term in Brazil. Brazil's real touched a nine-year low after an unexpected decline in China's imports hurt the currency. But how do you see the currency faring against the US dollar as we journey through the rate hike race? Okay, so uh, at this very moment we are at 260, uh, 260 reals. Uh, per dollar. Um, the 262-263 area is very important in technical terms. It's, uh, it's a high that was um, well visited sometimes in the past, and I think that uh, if it breaks on the upside, um, well, the real might evaluate further. Market at this point is seeing 270 at the end of 2015, which may be a little optimistic. Um, I mean, emerg uh, all the emerging market currencies are now vulnerable to more dollar strength, and uh, if this trend uh, is allowed to, to continue, I think I believe we'll see 280. Uh, probably not this year, but um, most likely in the first semester of the of the next year in 2015. So uh, there is no indication that uh, Real is going to, to rise on the short term. Philip, thank you so much for your time. Well, viewers, that's all from me for the moment, but you can follow all of your favourite currency pairs by clicking back for our early updates. Goodbye for now.